My channel today. This video is going to be all about showing you guys my origami collection. And last year I loved origami so much. I still do love it. It's so calming. And I made a lot of origami pieces. So today I'm going to go through all of it, all on this shelf. So let's get straight into the video. I have an origami lily inside an origami iris and the reason why I put them inside each other because it looks better than being separate and then at the top here I have an origami tato and I did the exact same thing on this side with different paper and then in the very center for some reason I put a puppet fox thing that you can use as a puppet say hello hello subscribe <laughs> and then down the front I have one two three four five six origami paper cranes and legend has it um that the japanese people say if you make 1000 paper cranes um you'll be granted a wish and i've only made six but it's okay <laughs> this paper crane is pretty special because it was the first video i made on my youtube channel and if you haven't checked that out you should so you can see how far i've come and then down the back i have another origami lily and then another let me just take this out so you can see an origami lily inside an origami iris and i think this is one of my favorite flowers that i've made out of origami down here i have some napkin flowers um these are pretty interesting and i made them for christmas as you can see some christmas kind of patterns <laughs> if you can recognize them then here I have, this is not really origami, but this is a paper blizzard book. It's not made out of square paper, but it's really cool. This one is my friendship journal from 2016, which shows all my besties and their information. And it looks like this on the inside, if you're wondering. And then here is pretty cool because I have a lot of origami books. Well, they aren't made out of square paper. They're just paper books, they're not exactly origami. And so let me just put this down. Over here, this is what the books look like. I haven't written anything inside of them, but I might, I'm not sure. I have an origami bookshelf to go with it. Again, it's not official origami, it's more like paper, but it's really cool. I have an origami pop-up book as well. And yeah, all of these tutorials, these book tutorials are from Paper Kawaii. And yeah, I was obsessed with that YouTube channel. Here is a podium and it has an origami piano in it because I love to play the piano. And if you haven't checked out all my piano covers, quickly, eye in the corner. And then it's on top of an origami masu box right here, which you can use for presents and stuff. Okay, so let's put that down there. And then finally, on the surface of the shelf, I have a fox. And this one is probably the most oldest origami piece. I made it at my friend's house, so it's pretty cool. And now let's move on to the walls of the shop. I forgot to mention in the corner, I actually have some origami ice cream, and ice cream is probably my favorite dessert, and I was super proud when I made these. I also got the tutorial from Paper Kawaii, which I will link in the description box below. Let's just put this back in the corner. Okay, we have to kind of bounce. Okay, so let's move on to this wall right here. Over here, I have a bunch of corner bookmarks, which are basically bookmarks that go in the corner of your books and stuff like that. Um, these are all the evolutions. Um, let's see if I remember them. And I love the evolutions so much. They're like my favorite Poke um, group of Pokemon. And don't forget... Evie, <laughs> I don't actually use these bookmarks as corner bookmarks since they're way too delicate and special, but they're really cute up on display right here. <laughs> and then on this wall right here, I have an origami fish that one of my siblings made. And then a swan down the very back. Okay, wait, let's see if that can focus. There we go. <laughs> okay, so down the back, I have a bunch of origami butterflies. Oh yeah, the fish. Origami butterflies. I've I've had I've made a tutorial for this one right here, and then these tutorials are found on Paper Kawaii. And then in the very center, I have an origami lily. It's meant to fold inwards, but I don't know how to keep it 
folded inwards like so. So I decided to keep my origami water lily open and put a sticky note inside of it saying, my origami creations. And this is actually really it for my origami video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed showing you guys my origami creations. Comment down below if you want more origami tutorials on what origami creation right there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!